It is a beautiful morning on Lake Seminole, and we're going to try to catch us some brim. We had a few people tell us that uh, the brim are still bedded out here, which is kind of weird because it's June, but I guess it's possible. They bed earlier where I live, but we're a good ways away from home. We got crickets, we got worms, and we got a couple spots somebody told us yesterday to try out. He said there's some bunch of brim on bottom and also yesterday while we was messing around bass fishing i found a few spots i want to try out there was a lot of brim around these docks and a couple big ones up in the shallow areas so we know where to go hopefully we can make it happen all right i got an earthworm on bottom right now just waits in an earthworm i'm probably gonna end up switching pretty quick because there's a lot of grass but there's some sandy spots and that's where i'm assuming they'll be bedded it's too deep to even see right out in front of this dock. Like, see the bottom where they're bedded at? If they are. Uh-oh, baby. You got a little bite. That must have been something little. Oh, no. You got him. That seems like a decent one. Oh, he's all in that grass. He's still on there. He seemed like a decent one too. Oh, good Lord. He's in there. Look at that mess. For a fine bluegill though. Heck yeah, babe. You got one. That's a pretty one too. Yeah, it's not a bad one at all. Open that cooler for me. In the grass, babe. First bluegill in the cooler. Can't believe he ate my cork. I can, that happens all the time. They probably hit that little crawdad you had tied on if they're hitting top. Mm -hmm. But it'd be so hard to throw that thing in here with them treble hooks, I wouldn't even try. Oh, there he is. Got him. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Crickets are the way to go. No, right there we go. It's all right, I got him. Another fine bluegill. I just switched oh, to crickets and threw it out and got a fine one. I think we found them, babe. We had to switch docks a few times, but that's two in a row right there. And that is a beauty, too. Ooh, that's a good hit in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. That seems like a keeper. He's big enough. Nothing crazy, but a keeper. They might be on this dock. In the cool. Now, now I'm gonna catch a big one. There you go. I got him, and it's a good one, babe. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a slab. Okay, he's not quite as big as I thought he was when I hooked him, but he's a nice keeper. Nice keeper, bluegill. I can't grab a hold of him. There we go. Starting to get a few of them caught up. No big old knotheads yet. It's deep right here. Oh, I see beds. Oh my God, it's the big fish, baby. Huge beds with giants on them. Oh, baby. We might have to give him a minute. We need to throw an earthworm right in front of this. It's rock, sandy bottom. All right, guys. There's some big brim on the beds right there. Right there. I might have spooked them when I went over top of them, though. I seen a few that stayed on the bed, though. I tried to ease out. There's some giants down there. Just got to see if we can get them to bite something. Probably switch to an earthworm. 
I just put a hook and a weight, babe. We're gonna sit right here and throw there for a while. Oh, I got a bite, I think. No. There he is. It's straight in front of the dog, baby. I got one. Oh, yep, that one's a lot better. We found some beds, guys. Yes, perfect. There was some bigger than this down there too, babe. But that's a beauty. Got him? Yep. Let's go. We're about to get us a mess. I see him. He's hung around a lily pad. Oh no. He come loose? Yeah, he did. Get him up here. That one's bigger than mine. All right, guys, we done figured it out. Now we're going to catch some good ones <laughs> peeing on me. <laughs> Here you go, baby. He swallowed it. <laughs> You're welcome. It ain't that bad. You should be able to pull it out. He is. Some good bluegills here. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Let's go. Took a while. Yeah, that is a fine one. Heck yeah. We're getting some bluegills in the cooler today. He broke the hook. Figured that was gonna happen. He was a little heavy. Bluegill. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's got your lily pad again. It comes right out of that lily pad somehow. Oh, there's a big bass chasing babe. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Babe, that bass is huge. Oh my God, what a bass. He did, he did, he seen the boat. Baby, that was a six, seven pound bass. I think we need to float some live bluegills for some uh, bass. That was like a six or seven pounder just chased us brim up here to the top that was a stud baby that's where we bass. was definitely a bass i saw over there then same color the shimmer the way it hit the water that was a big old bass man another bluegill for the cooler we fished all this bass fishing yesterday afternoon didn't catch nothing big that right there was a stud he's hanging out at the bottom too baby when's it baby oh there he is got him yeah He hit that one hard. Throw him in the boat. Heck yeah. Number eight, I think. I always lose count once we get above six for some reason. And I think that's number eight. Ah! The hook's barely in now. Good stuff, baby. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Spray inside. Go on, shower. <laughs> Got him. Tearing me up now, babe. That's a hey, shell cracker. Shell cracker. Babe, that's a shell cracker. You don't notice he looks weird? Yeah, these things right here get huge. For a shell cracker. I hope we hook a giant one of these. That's actually a small shell cracker. This is the biggest brim you can catch. Heck yeah. Yeah, caught us a shell cracker. Nothing real huge, but. Hey, the, boat's <laughs> the boat's drifting still. We're pulling you farther and farther away from the fish. Yeah, you are. It's not me. Oh, oh. There he is. Miss him? Nope. No, you got him. Yeah, you out fishing me like crazy now, babe. That's three in a row. Get him up here, another bluegill. This is a smaller one. Big enough, bright red though. Another bluegill. I don't even know how many this is now. I almost count, nine, 10. Uh, I mean, I've been catching them all, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, number nine, ten, something like that. There he is. I think. Yep. I got some grass to pull him through, though. He ain't very big. He's not bad, actually. No, he's not a bit. That's good. Yeah, I pulled him right across the top somehow, though. The other ones have been digging. He about got away. <laughs> oh, you got one too? Yeah, you got him. In the cooler? That's a good one too. Oh, he's got you hung up. That's a bass. <gasps> I got a bass? A good bass. Hold on, don't haunt him. Don't haunt him. Yeah, just let him go where he wants. You want to net him? You got a little baby hook. Is that a bass or a catfish? It might be a catfish. That's a good catfish. He's strong, ain't he? Yes. If you had a bigger rail, you could just pull him straight up. You got a number six. I got him. Number six rim hook on there. Catfish. Baby, let's go. That's a fine catfish. Well, we'll take that all day, baby. Nice. I just seen how big it was and assumed it was a bass. I didn't even think about a catfish. Oh boy, that's gone. Yeah. You just trying to slow me down. <laughs> that's awesome, babe. He's going in the cooler for show. Sure. That's some pretty fillets. That might get thrown on the grill today. There's another one. I yeeted him. There's some in that corner on the right side, babe. It's two yeah. casts in a row. No, that's fine. This one's real bright colored. Look at that. That is pretty. Look at that, babe. These aren't very big for bed fish, babe. Bed fish are supposed to be much better than this. But I'm super happy. There he is. Oh, yeah. Swallowed it too, didn't you, buddy? Yes, you did. Another bluegill. Getting a little redundant now, babe. Mm. At least we caught a catfish in the middle of all that to yeah. mix it up a little. Mm -hmm. All right, I've absolutely lost count. At least 10. <laughs> At least 10 the last time. <laughs> At least 10. Probably gonna lose a lot of line. Nope, I got it. It does that crap, bro. You gotta be careful. Cause if you like pull it too much or pull out too much line with it, it'll get really bad. Oh, I got oh you got one? <laughs> Why you was all tangled up? Seems like a decent one. That's definitely a good one. Good bluegill. We're going. That's a fine one, baby. Some pretty colors on them, ain't there? That old yeah, bright red good. belly. So we ventured off to that corner and it's actually like 20 foot deep. I didn't know it was that deep. I got a 20 foot, or yeah, about a 20 foot anchor rope and it was barely touching bottom. And it's crazy because it's like two foot deep and then it drops off in that hole. We fished there for a little bit, a couple different, or all ends of it really. Didn't even get a bite. Came back here, caught one instantly. Gonna have to find the beds, honestly. It's just hard to see. I barely could see these beds because of how deep the water they were in. I'd love to find some shellcracker beds. Oh, there he is. Hey, that's big one. That's gotta be a catfish. That ain't no, that ain't no broom. Yeah. Yeah, I need the net for this. Is that a bass? I think it's a bass. Uh-uh. No, it's a cat. Uh, I might not need the net. But this little old hook kind of scares me with these things. It's just a good channel. Another catfish. 
He's still solid. Good filleting size catfish. Nice. Did you swallow me hook, my friend? Absolutely you did. Broke it off. Oh well. Well, catfish number two. There he is. I think. That might have been the boat. Nope. That's a good one. It's a real good one. Bam! Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. It's pretty easy once you get it figured out. If they're on the beds, you just got to keep moving. Do shallow sandy spot. Find the gaps in all this grass where the sand is and catch you some fine bluegills. That's a beaut right there. There he is. Got another one. This one ain't near to me. Still just as pretty, though. Just as pretty. We gonna quit before long. <laughs> before we fill up a cooler. I ain't trying to do all that. It's weird you're not even hooking like at all. Probably. There you go, baby. Get him. Yeah, you got that one. Ooh. Ooh. Big bluegill. That's a tank. One of the bigger ones today. There you go, babe. Beautiful. See you. There's another one. A better one. Throw it up closer to that grass line over there. Close to where you got. That's decent bluegill there. Beautiful. <sighs> Probably not. Oh, oh, oh. I, I see. That okay, babe. He was He's pulled. Fast, though. He pulled drag pretty good. Oh, you snagged what? him. No wonder he felt bigger than he was. He's pretty, look at that. Baby, you had him by his fin. That's how you catch him when they ain't biting, babe. Just go ahead and oh, you ain't going nowhere, rip on him. He probably bit at you it. Got you. that fish on there, you. <laughs> you probably, he probably bit at it and then you snatched and he turned away and it just hooked him in the side. Perfect. That's it. We calling it a day. We don't need no more brim. Got a beautiful mess of fish in there. Two catfish. How many ever brim? Well, that was pretty awesome, guys. First time brim fishing Lake Seminole, and we got a great mess of fish. I am excited that they were on the beds. Did not kind of, didn't expect that. Somebody told me, but it's later in the year. All the fish down where I live and south of where I live are all off the beds and been off the beds. So it's awesome that we were able to find them. Took us a little while to figure them out, but got us an awesome mess. Nothing real giant, though. I expected to pull a few giants off the beds, but didn't really happen. Who cares? Hope y'all liked the video. Thank y'all for watching.